But what is going on everybody and welcome back to your stop for all things theme park and attraction related If you guys are new here consider subscribing down below with those bell notifications on And if you enjoy the video at the end make sure to give it a like If you aren't already follow us on our social media accounts Instagram at SoCal Exploring Media and Twitter at SoCal Exploring For more theme park slash haunt coverage In today's video I want to share some more information that recently got released by the OC Register About SeaWorld San Diego's Hollow Scream 2021 event as we all know that recently we found out SeaWorld San Diego is going to be hosting their first ever haunted event by the event lineup in their park. And I already made a video sharing my thoughts on, you know, what could be the mazes, where the mazes could be located at, different stuff like that. And if you want to check out that video, I'll link it down below in the description so you guys can get kind of a context behind the video that you're watching right now. But I didn't think that we were going to get any news regarding Hollow Scream until months down the way as we get closer to haunt season. However, there's already news being released by the president of SeaWorld San Diego. So for the most part, we're going to be referencing this OC Register article that was recently put out today where they got a couple statements from the president of the park. The article is titled, Prepare to be scared to death by Hollow Scream at SeaWorld San Diego for those of you who want to go check out the full article yourselves. Park President Marilyn Haynes confirms that the event will be coming this year and that she's actually attended the event herself at Busch Gardens Tampa since they do Hollow Scream every single year. She then goes on to say that they're going all in and it's going to be scary and this kind of clears up the confusion of like will San Diego have a full on full fledged out event. I know a lot of people are questioning the likelihood of them having tons of mazes at the park for their first ever year and it being like a good quality event but she pretty much confirms it right there that they're not holding back they're gonna go all out and break right into the Southern California haunt market and try to compete with not scary farm and Halloween Horror Nights and other haunted events in the Southern California area the San Diego Hollow Scream will also be using some of the ideas from the different sister parks across the nation at Busch Gardens Williamsburg Busch Gardens Tampa and SeaWorld San Antonio they're gonna be using ideas from their Hollow Scream events and using some of their designers to help bring this event to life so I'm really Really happy that they're going to be getting advice from those events because from what I've heard and what I've seen those events are really well produced and their mazes and different scares and stuff are actually quite horrifying and detailed. They've been wanting to do Hollow Scream in San Diego for years and they're finally excited to share that it's going to be happening this year. And even though we're in March to further clear up the quality debate of this event they're already starting work on Hollow Scream San Diego for 2021. Haynes stated that we have a lot of stuff to build between now and then. We will have multiple houses, multiple scare zones and a show or shows we have a lot on the drawing board right now we're taking the best out of all of our parks we have scenes already that are just as scary as you can imagine so a couple things that she confirmed right there one we're gonna have multiple mazes multiple scare zones and either one or multiple shows which is extremely exciting bringing everything that you'd see in a traditional haunt event to Hollow Scream San Diego. And it appears as if they formed a team already with some of the best designers from Busch Gardens and SeaWorld San Antonio to already, you know, brainstorm on what exactly could go into this San Diego event. As we all know, the kid-friendly spooktacular event will still be going on during this time, during the daytime. However, they're gonna split the park in half and still find some way to make one half of the park scary and one half of the park kid-friendly. The way I could see this happening is they could probably be doing like pull out props and stuff for when it comes to nighttime. Like pull out little stages for the characters to interact with similar to what we see at Universal Orlando. I would love to see some of these mazes and zones that they have done at the Bush Gardens version and SeaWorld San Antonio come to this event. There's a couple of them that I'm like man I wish that I could experience those mazes slash zones. And even the show you know I heard that Fiends, the show, I, I believe I said that correctly, is a very popular show at the Busch Gardens Tampa Hollow Scream. So I'd be excited to see them, you know, bring that over to SeaWorld San Diego. They obviously have the Nautilus Amphitheater sitting there vacant for multi-purpose. I mean, they've been putting up stages there for like animal shows, Christmas shows. Uh, I don't think that they did a Halloween show, but I think that they did do a show for Electric Ocean, their summertime event. So I think that this is the perfect place for them to have one of those shows. And also a great location is the Mission Bay Theater theater which is also like a multi-purpose theater they do the lunar new year shows in there and then they also do a couple of like conservation rescue shows in there and with the mission bay theater they obviously have a lot more control over lighting sound and special effects and all that and it'd make for a perfect show 
for Hallow Scream. I know that SeaWorld San Antonio has a big thing with haunted bars and just putting a bunch of bars throughout the area for Hollow Scream, so I'd be excited to see if they're going to bring that same thing over to San Diego, even though the president didn't talk about it in this article, it still could very well happen. And honestly, if you're a local San Diegan, I think that this is a great thing for San Diego, because we only have a couple of haunts here in San Diego. For the most part, they're all up in LA or Orange County and stuff like that. So if people start to see the success of Hollow Scream in the city, and then why wouldn't they do more haunted events? Why wouldn't people, you know, get the idea to do bigger and, you know, even maybe even better haunted events? Now, we don't have any other theme parks down here other than the zoo, but I think that it'd be a cool idea for them to scout out locations where they can do different haunted events. Obviously, the Haunted Trail, the Disturbance, and the Scream Zone, those are all great local events, but... Who's to say they won't blow it up to even bigger events once they see the success of Hollow Scream? So if you're a Haunt fan in San Diego, I think that this is a great and a very exciting thing. It's going to be real interesting to see how much they charge for the event, if they're going to sell some type of pass where you can go every night, similar to what Not Scary Farm does, and you know, like Halloween Horror Nights does that too, except for they have blackout dates. Who knows, maybe it could be like it's included with your AP if you're a season pass holder at SeaWorld, but if you're not, you have to buy a separate ticket. I don't know, it's, it's really Really going to be exciting to see this event develop and speculations and construction and all that and for all my longtime SeaWorld watchers you know as soon as there's construction up or any type of updates at all I'm going to be out there filming it for you guys so you're going to want to hit the subscribe button with those bell notifications on because Hello Scream construction updates are coming as soon as they start construction. And at least for the mazes, if they're already talking about how they're working on the event, I think that they could start construction probably late July, which would be exciting because that'd build more anticipation for the event. But I want to know what you guys think of all the news released today down below in the comments section. Are you excited for it? My name is Scott. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. You've been watching SoCal Exploring Positivity is Key. And most importantly, remember to keep exploring. I am